guys, welcome back, Alex here. Today we're gonna talk about how to cut holes in a cylinder or for example cut holes in a gun barrel like we have here in the image. Or maybe you create a product like a speaker and you need to cut holes in a cylinder as well. So this is what we're gonna have when we finish. So let's get started. The first part is to create a cylinder, press shift C and make it like this. Here is the important part where you need to make the first circle. The first circle should be the size of the hole you want to have. So we're gonna have like small holes, something like this. And now with three, I select the face, I drag it and I press tab. So that way we have it in both directions. And from here, we're gonna use radial array. And we have 16. You can use different, but this is what works. The last time I used 13, let's use 13. See, I use 13 because the next level, so it's not going to be on the same line, we're going to rotate the next one. So if you watch from here, here is the zero angle or the 90 angle. When all of these I'm going to rotate 90 degrees, it's going to align perfectly to here. So let me show you. So we have them and with Q, Q. I'll join them together and press shift D and create another one and this is the time when you rotate and by pressing down control you will rotate in increments of 5 degrees right click to accept and see now if we spin around we have like perfect perfect so I select the two of them, I press 4, and what's important, you do it like this. And if you can see, there are spaces between uh, each uh, array space, so that way we need to do it like this. If it's not snapping, you see you have snapping enabled, you can just draw a line no problem and use it again still not snapping i press alt z so i can see true and now i try to make it so we have consistent space between all of them and it's going to be something like this I think yes maybe more that's it and now I move them up over here select the cylinder and then select all of them and press Q and when it's red you know it's gonna cut it's gonna be a difference and right click to accept and now we have the holes and to cut the middle, we just create another circle from the center. And here you set the size of how should be how wide should be the thickness of your gun barrel or what you're building. So let's make it like this. And from here, I press three, select that face, and drag it down. Right click to accept four. First select the one with the holes, so we're cutting from this and we're cutting this. Shift click the second one, press Q. And that's it. We have it. We can hide everything and we have it. It's nice. And that's how you do it. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.